Now, in his first visit to India since assuming office last year, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida held bilateral talks with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the Indian-Japan annual summit. In a move that bolsters the strategic partnership of the two nations, both the leaders announced a slew of agreements. The two sides inked six accords to strengthen bilateral cooperation in a range of areas which includes cybersecurity, capacity building and information sharing. They also agreed on a separate clean energy partnership. The key highlight of the bilateral meeting was Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida announcing a $42 billion investment in India over the next five years. え、私の進める新しい資本主義においても、インドは重要なパートナーです。え、本日、え、今後 the Japanese Prime Minister also reaffirmed India and Japan's commitment to strengthen security ties across the Indo-Pacific region. The two leaders also held discussions over the ongoing Ukraine crisis. We on correspondent Sidhan Sibal is joining us live from New Delhi for more on this story. Sidhan, good to see you. Tell us more about this $42 billion investment promised by Japan and how Will it benefit India in the long run? And probably you can mention the big takeaways from Fumio Kishida's visit. Well, yes, uh, the, the biggest uh, takeaway was uh, the investment bit, uh, the announcement that has been made. This is uh, a long-term an announcement in terms of five-year implementation, and such announcements have been made in the past. But the amount, of course, is uh, staggering and shows that how uh, Japan sees India as a big investment destination. But... Uh, Essentially, if we look at the overall visit now, the Japanese Prime Minister has left the country. Uh, he is, of course, uh, has started the second leg of uh, the Asia visit. Uh, the focus, of course, was first on the Quad uh, summit and secondly on uh, the uh, the, uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, the uh, Japanese were very strong in the condemnation of uh, Russia from New Delhi. And that is significant in terms of uh, India being uh, close uh, partner essentially of uh, the Russians. Uh, we have abstained from uh, the United Nations on, uh, on, on issues relating to Ukraine. And essentially, uh, while the Japanese were very strong in their condemnation, the Indian side uh, reiterated its perspective about the situation. And of course, uh, we know that India is engaged with Russia to get uh, discounted crude oil from Russia. Sidhant Sibal, thank you very much for that information and for talking to us today. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.